Let's talk about PCOS and GLP-1s. A new systematic review just came out about PCOS or polycystic ovarian syndrome. So PCOS affects ovaries and it's not just about the cysts on the ovaries. It's a whole endocrine and metabolic condition that between 10 and 15% of US women have. The 2025 Molecular Biology Review called it a perpetuating cycle of oxidative stress, insulin resistance, and hypoandrogenism, which can result in irregular periods, infertility, fatigue, mood swings, acne, excessive facial hair growth, weight gain, even resistant to traditional exercise and dieting. Traditional treatments for PCOS include metformin, birth control, lifestyle changes. But then enter GLP-1s into the chat. They improve insulin resistance, a key factor in PCOS. They lower androgen levels, including free testosterone, which again is another big factor of PCOS. GLP-1s can help break that perpetuating cycle of insulin resistance and oxidative stress. PCOS can also have symptoms that are not metabolic or endocrine in nature. They're mental health driven. PCOS is often accompanied by anxiety, fatigue, and an increase in food noise, or the constant mental chatter that you might have about food. And GLP-1s can help address some of those things. Many women report once starting a GLP-1 that they have had the first silence of food noise that they've ever experienced in their entire life. And that's reported straight from the Molecular Biology Review. So PCOS and GLP-1s have a great relationship with GLP-1s, we're treating the underlying biology and not blaming lifestyles and other things for PCOS, a very complicated endocrine and metabolic disorder that are affecting 10% of women. Let me know in the comments what you think about GLP-1s for PCOS or if you have PCOS.